like its predecessor and short-term stable mate, the new Compass fits into the 15.4-inch overall length gap between Jeep's Lee Renegade and its mid-range Cherokee crossovers. Unlike the sad sad first-generation Compass, though, the redesigned crossover looks and feels like it belongs on the same showroom floor with those rigs. Built on a small white 4x4 architecture that underpins the bug eyed Renegade, the new Compass doubles down on the mini Grand Cherokee looks that the original Compass tried to adopt in its 2011 model year refresh. The new one is more handsome and better proportioned, with its lap sides complemented by an attractive shoulder line kick and a pseudo floating roof. All Compasses use FCA's 2.4 liter inline 4 producing 180 horsepower and 175 pounds FTO torque, an engine that's also available in the Renegade. A 6-speed manual gearbox is standard on the Sport in the all-wheel drive latitude. Two automatic transmissions are offered, a 6-speed for front-wheel drive models and a 9-speed with all-wheel drive. Both the off-road ready trail hit and top of the line limited trim levels have the all-wheel drive or 9-speed automatic driven trim is standard, and that's the combination we sample. Although the engine's weak top end and the transmission's hesitant seat again shift meant the compass labor to pass traffic at highway speeds, the powertrain was a fine companion at slower paces. The relatively short lower gears in the 9-speed helped the compass feel eager off the line, while other all-wheel drive compass models provide standard auto, snow, sand, and mud driving modes, the trail hit adds a rock mode. Among other things, rock mode increases the sensitivity of the all-wheel drive system's brake-based torque vectoring. At Hollister Hills State Vehicular Recreation Area, the trail had proved its metal clambering over jagged rocks and slogging through muddy bits with relative ease. Although rock mode never felt necessary for the obstacles we encountered, engaging it did noticeably reduce wheel slip. 